Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Coach Steph. You know, besides being a coach, I have so many personalities that many people don't know. First, I'm a child of God. I'm a servant of God. I'm a singer. I have so much things that I do and fitness is part of me. Because of my love of fitness or my love of sport, I decided to become a personal trainer. Those are just one of the talents that God gave me. Anyways, in this channel, we learn. It is called Learn With Staff because we are here to learn, okay? As a personal trainer, as a health and fitness professional, I'm here to teach you things that you and I need to learn, okay? So if you wanna know more of this, stay tuned and keep watching. If you're new to my channel, thank you for coming here. Please make sure you stay and hit the subscribe button. If you've been here, thank you for being here. So without wasting time, today we're gonna to learn the difference between obesity and being overweight. It usually, you know, confuse people. What is, am I overweight? Am I obese? Like, I'm gonna show you how to calculate um, your, your body max index so that you know in which range you stand. Whether you have a normal weight, whether you are overweight, whether you are underweight, whether you are obese, whether you are extreme. Through this video, you know, you're gonna know how to calculate that without wasting time. And I'm gonna give you some tips, you know? Of course, I have to give you a solution. I can't just present a problem without a solution. So stay tuned if you wanna know the difference. So being overweight is related to the amount of lean muscles that you have in your body, muscles. And when we go to being obese, it relates, it's a condition that's related to the excessive fats that you have in your body. That's how you know how to differentiate between being overweight and being uh, obese. So overweight is measured by the lean muscles, by your muscles, how much muscles you have. And then obese, it's mostly your body fat. So why is BMI? BMI is body max index. It's just like a calculator helping you calculate your your weight range. Like, where do you fall? Are you underweight? Are you normal weight? Are you overweight? Are you obese or are you extreme? So how do you calculate your BMI to find out if you're in this good range? If you are underweight, you know, you need to try and gain some weight, like a little bit, okay? Because it's not good to be underweight because especially for women, it affects your, your birth process especially during pregnancy, women are advised to really take good care of themselves before falling pregnant. That's another subject for another day. So if you're underweight, you really have to work on it and try and gain some weight. There's this eating disorder that's been going viral, like not wanting to gain weight because they want to be slim, they want to be this. Look, your body need nutrient. Your body need to be fed. Do not deprive your body because you saw some models on TV looking like a, I don't know, and you want to copy that. No, being happy is being you, like your own. The goal is not to be skinny. The goal is not to be slender. The goal is not to be fat or big. The goal is to have a healthy weight, to be at a healthy weight range, a normal weight range. So if you want to know how much your BMI is, you need to calculate this way. You take your weight in kilograms, you divide it by your height square, and you'll find out where you're falling under. So if you are underweight, it's gonna be 18.5 something. If, if you're normal weight, it's gonna be 18 to 25. If you are becoming overweight, it's gonna be 26 to 30. And then if you are overweight, if you're obese, it's gonna be 30 and 35 somewhere there and if you're extreme it's gonna be 40 and above so if you are falling under the overweight range it is time to take actions today because to the longer you wait the more your health is at risk do this calculation and let me know if you need help to go back to the normal range there's always ways to work around it if you can't do it on your own that's why we have personal trainers like us to help you get back to that range you know don't feel bad about yourself don't sh don't let it shock you but let it encourage you to take good action to take good precautions to prevent it because being overweight already from overweight obese and extreme really exposes you to many health issues and most of us are very young to die like that i know we are gonna die someday but do not cause 
premature death because of things you can control so things that contribute to you becoming overweight or obese it's lack of physical activities guy is it because i'm just born this way like being so active like i don't know like lack of physical activities will lead you to the overweight range okay don't say i don't care i can be who i am no please i'm sorry you gotta take care of yourself your family needs you your husband needs you your fiance needs you your kids need you take care of yourself the body the bible says your body is a temple of god you gotta take care of it so please take care of yourself become more physical active stop eating while watching tv because once you watch tv your brain is so focused to the tv that you don't even know how much you're intaking so whenever you're eating please turn off the tv don't use your electronics i know it's hard because i do the same thing but i know about my calories you know <laughs> but i'm not encouraging those bad habits people who work out people who have muscles they can fall under the overweight uh category because they have more muscle and muscles weigh heavy so don't worry if you go to the internet and you type you put in your information and you feel like oh i'm overweight no if you work out you have muscle then you oh you are in a good range of overweight because it's not your fat that weighs more it's your muscles instead but if you jump on the scale and you type on your bmi trying to find your bmi and you find out that you're overweight or obese and you look at yourself you see that you don't have muscles but you have more fat then you're at risk of some heart diseases coronary diseases diabetes depression and all bad health related issues so today i'm not here to scare you i'm not here to make you feel bad about yourself i'm here to persuade you to take good care of yourself in the united states 70 percent of people are overweight and 35 percent are obese and yearly the united states spends a hundred according to statistics 148 billion dollars listen to me this is not million it's billion dollars just for people who are overweight and obese that's how much goes into their health care so for you and i to prevent that we can simply take precaution by taking care of ourselves, being more physical active and eating healthy. According to the National and Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, 1.4 billion of people are overweight in the world, which 200 million are male and 300 million are female and 40 million are children. Just imagine that. Things that could be controlled like through physical activities like good diet i know it could be challenging to just you know start eating healthy or hiring a personal trainer or you know working out but if we continue doing this this 148 billion dollars that is being spent yearly we could invest it into something better than just you know spending it over things that we can control i'm here to talk to you and i to take precautions around us especially for mothers like you are in the kitchen you cook you take care of your husband and your kids their health is in your hand if you feed them junk these kids are gonna grow because based on research kids who eat unhealthy at their childhood they grow up becoming obese in the adulthood stage so your kids health starts today their safety is in your head if you start feeding them whatever they want they're just gonna grow up feeling the same way and encouraging the same behaviors so i'm encouraging mothers to really take care of their children and avoid snacking like cookies chocolate sweet cereal all those things are full of empty calories what do i mean by empty calories empty calories are food that have no nutrients that are not beneficial for your health they're just making you more hungrier and desire more of them so make sure you take good care of your families by feeding them the right things cook with the right oil or the best oil to cook that's healthy and recommended for you healthy fats are avocado oil or olive oil those are the oils you can cook corn oil uh, sunflower oil Whew, i know it's big but stay away from it because you are killing your health the thing is we don't want to increase the cholesterol level in our body we're trying to reduce it and the only way we can reduce it is by making healthy food choices. make good food choices i know especially for our cultures as african 
our diets are full of carbs that's why it's hard for us to like burn calories lose weight maintain it we need to reduce carbohydrate in our diet especially our african cooking ways oh lord have mercy our food is good our food is very good and it has nothing bad with it but our ways of cooking african food that's where the problem comes in if you notice most of our elders parents have high blood pressure diabetes cholesterol levels very high and all those kind of things because of what how we cook our food we have so much oil in it salt spice we let it stay so long on the stove like you killing yourself we, we we've been killing ourselves we need to change that. Surtout notre façon de préparer en Afrique. Il y a beaucoup d'huile dans la nourriture. Il y a beaucoup de sel, beaucoup des épices. Tout ça affecte notre santé négativement. Si vous remarquez beaucoup de nos parents, de nos oncles, de nos familles, basant la maladie comme hypertension, euh, diabète, cholestérol élevé, tous ces trucs là, c'est à cause de la façon dont on prépare notre nourriture. Alors, il est temps de prendre de précaution d'arranger cela maintenant. Si vous voulez préparer, préparez avec l'huile d'olive ou l'huile d'avocat. Those are the best oil to use. Take care of your parents, take care of your families, your kids. Dear parents, stop encouraging snacking like to your kids. Stop. All the sweet stuff. Stop. Give them fruit, give them vegetable sticks, give them good stuff, encourage good behaviors. That's how they're going to stay healthy. It pains me to see kids overweight, obese, right in front of my eyes. And it's hard for them to lose that weight. You're going to take them to the gym? Don't do that to you. A diet which is low on carbs, like, is like the best diet because you don't have to worry about losing weight, gaining weight, maintaining. No, your carbs are low. You maintain it as low as possible. Feed yourself with a lot of greens and add more protein in your diet. Fiber because fiber also is very good for your health. For maintaining weight, you need good fiber diets, good uh, protein diet. I'm not going to tell you, eat this, don't eat that. No, make good choices. If you don't know how to do it, that's why we have personal trainers. That's why we have nutritionists. Go ask for help. If you don't have money to afford them, Google it. But Google is not always reliable, so you need a professional to lead you. So, like, you rather spend $200, which is okay, on a personal trainer than spend $1,000 on your hospital bills. So, make sure there's always good food around you, healthy food around you. Because our eyes, like, you know, tells us to eat what we see. If in front of you, all you have is junk, I'm sorry, that's what your brain is going to tell you to eat. If in front of you, you have some carrot some green stuff some healthy food water avoid soda just try and erase all those temptation in front of you and you'll feel so good about your body the bloating will go away you feel you have more energy because your level of energy to function throughout the day depends on what you eat the heavier you are the less energy you have it can affect your marital life it can affect your sexual life it can affect your activities daily like it can affect so much of you so you gotta take care of yourself it can even affect your conception as a woman especially that so please take care of yourself you and i can fight obesity by just making good healthy food choices you and i can fight becoming overweight by making good food choices by becoming more physically active if you feel like working out is a lot for you find activities that can make your body move you know just do something that you can move and burn those calories because the more you sit down the more sedentary you are the less calories you burn and the more you in store the more fat you store the thing is when we lose weight our fat cells shrinks they don't disappear they shrink they like shrink as soon as you start feeding it with junk again they expand so it's like a back and forth thing. So once you you embark in this journey of staying healthy and you know taking care of yourself, you gotta stick to it. Consistent. We also have the basal metabolic rate, which is how your body burns calories when is at rest. Remember, there are people you see they can eat as much as they want, but they never gain weight. Like you envy their body. Like it's like my last our last bone. Moses, the boy drinks a packet of soda, but he never gains any weight. By the time I drink it, oh, tomorrow I'm gaining thousands of pounds. So remember, our body functions differently. 
if someone can eat a burger and gain no weight from that it's just that their basal metabolic rate is higher than yours your, your metabolism is slow so don't expect to burn weight at the same rate as them because that's how their body is it can be genetics it could be hereditary it could be just how they are so you might be eating junk within a week you gain weight someone can be eating junk food but they never gain any weight so don't get it twisted know your body know your bmi your your, your which range you are in then you can make healthy food choices don't just say i'm gonna eat what i want because the way i can burn calories is not the way your body can burn calories so just make sure you are active physically active and you make healthy food choices it goes together don't be eating healthy and sitting down no eat healthy work out don't be working out and eating junk no work out and eat so good we are here to help you let me know how we can be a help of you share this video with those who need it i really wish i could do this in french but it's really hard for me <laughs> as a you know a kid who grew up in the english country but i will if you have a question si vous voulez des explications pour cette vidéo vous pouvez me contacter je vais vous expliquer qu'est ce que j'ai dit parce que je n'ai pas pu translate tout en français c'est vraiment un peu difficile pour moi merci pour la compréhension partagez la vidéo share this video with those who need it and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out next time thank you bye